After two grueling days at Bethpage Black, just 18 holes remained before a champion would be crowned. Competitors were all chasing Ryan Siegler of TPC Jasna Polana, who was sitting at 9-under for the tournament after carding a second round 8-under 63. Entering the final round, three golfers were close behind. David Pastor of the Golf Performance Center at 6-under, Michael Gerboys of Wachung Valley at 6-under, and Dylan Newman of Brayburn at 4-under. Putter, putter, if anything, has kind of been a weakness for me as I've played professionally, um, but it's felt good all week, and I kind of pride myself in being able to make the ones, the short ones that you need to be able to make, and I might not always make the 20-footers, but but uh, I work really hard on, on making those, and it, it really helped me settle down to know, hey, I played horrible the first three holes, and I was one over at Beth Page Black, so I didn't feel like I'd given up any at that point, which, you know, gave me confidence for the rest of the day. I don't really need my best stuff and I can still get it around here. Following the bogey on three, Siegler continued to fall back to the field. Bogies on five, seven, and 11, as well as a double on 12, put him at three under for the championship and tied for the lead with just six holes to play. It's weird after you play such a good round yesterday, I just felt like I was, I was giving them all away, but I just kept telling myself, I knew that anything finishing under par for the championships a good score at Beth Page and and don't try to say you know what I shot this yesterday and I'm shooting this today I just you know kept it together out there even though I was hitting some bad shots and and was in some bad spots standing on the 16th tee Siegler found himself tied for the lead with Pastor clutch birdies on both 16 and 18 would prove to be the difference it's a tough tee shot for me with the wind off the right, and you can't really start it too far right because of the trees over there. So I lost it a little bit on the wind. It hung in there for a while, but just kept kept going left. Um, ended up in that fescue, but I knew I had to hit the hit a high cut around the tree, which thankfully is my kind of go-to shot. And I just had a good number. It was one of those where I knew if I if I pulled it off, it it could be good. And and if anything, I took a club that was going to leave me a little bit behind the hole and there I could, I could two putt from there. To hit that shot and then to get a good read and, and drip it in the front edge really felt good. It leaked a little bit into the left bunker, but really, really lucky to not be, you know, against the lip or something. So it made the decision pretty easy. Just try to try to hit nine iron in the middle of the green. And uh, I pulled it right at the flag and, and got some cheers from the crowds when it, when it landed pretty close. But it was, it was unintentional. I, I knew kind of that I knew at worst par was going to get it done. It was it was pretty cool to hear the uh, the gasp, and then there was a little delay before the clap, so you can't see anything. And I was nervous that it had one hopped over the green or something, but it, it ended up being really close, and you know was able to take care of it from there. For the New Jersey native Siegler, his first MGA win comes at the biggest MGA Major Championship of the season. And the way I've kind of played all year, I've played really good. And when people ask how you're playing, it's you know. I'm playing really good. I've had a couple of leads going into final rounds, and I just haven't won yet. And you know, this is this in a year that I don't have status on the Corn Ferry Tour is the biggest event that I'll that I'll play all year, and and to win it felt awesome.